Hey everyone, it's Flayer31 here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Yellow version. In the last episode, we started the game, got our, our Pikachu, and uh, came up here to this town, got the Pokedex parcel, or not Pokedex parcel, the custom Pokeball parcel, and then gave it to Professor Oak, and he gave us the Pokedex in return. And now we're here in this episode to catch some Pokemon and maybe make some progress. We'll, we'll see, we'll find out. But, let's check in on Pikachu real quick. Pikachu, how you doing? Oh, he's so unhappy. Well, we'll fix that sometime. Um, so, I want to catch some Pokemon. I also want to buy some Pokeballs before I start trying to catch some Pokemon. So let's go ahead and buy, we'll buy six Pokeballs to start out. Spend almost half of our money on Pokeballs at the beginning of the game. So to begin with, we can go down to Route 1 here. And on Route 1, there's going to be exactly two Pokemon for us. And we've already seen both of them in the last episode, so... First tile, huh? First tile. He's not even going to wait. Pidgey? Pidgey's the more common of the two in this game, so makes sense. I really don't want to Thundershock it, though. Like, I really don't want to Thundershock it. Well, let's do it anyway. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. That's okay. Maybe if we find a Rattata instead... like that. Oh, it's only level 2, though. Are you gonna die, too? Oh, it didn't die. That's actually kind of wild. Throw a Pokeball at it. It's gonna have a really good chance of catching. Yeah. Honestly, weakening the Pokemon when they're this low level is probably not all that uh, necessary. But that's okay. We'll chew on anything with its fangs. If you see one, it is certain that 40 more live in the area. Oof. No. You're not going on the team. Sorry, Rata. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, actually go to the Pokemon Center and heal. Because then we can use the Rata to catch the Pidgey. Maybe. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. We heal your Pokemon back to perfect health. Shall we hear your Pokemon? Yes, heal you. Is that supposed to be a Chansey? Because it kind of doesn't look like a Chansey. Whatever. So... Let's actually switch and put Rattata in the front. Dude, it's not going to be able to run from anything. Oh well. The level 3 Pidgey. Good enough for me. Tackle it. Oh, it does no damage. Oh my god, he got a crit. Sacrifice yourself. Oh, you missed your only tackle, the chance that you were going to get. Good job, Rata. Good job. Oh, actually, I just had a big brain idea. I just had a, a really big brain idea, actually. Pikachu learns Thunder Wave at, I think, level 8. And Thunder Wave is going to make catching things super easy. Because, like, the idea... Normally, I wouldn't care too much. I just chuck Pokeballs at things. But we have so little money at the beginning of the game, that I don't want to, like, waste a bunch of money on both walls. So, I'm kind of being cautious and, like, guaranteeing that I catch stuff. Um, so, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... We're going to train Chubby Chew up. He's going to get to level 8 and learn Thunder Wave. And then we can use that to, to catch things. 
Oh, actually, let's go over here first. I mean, we can catch things in Route 1, but we might as well catch things in Route 2 as well, or Route 22 as well. Because there's a Spiro, a couple Nidoran, and a Mankey on this route. And there's the Mankey. Alright, Thundershock it. Good enough for me. Chuck a Pokeball. And it broke out. Great. Really? How low is its catch rate? I'm kind of curious now. I also don't want it to one-shot me. But I do have... Oh my god, dude, it's gonna eat through all my Pokeballs. Its catch rate's not that low, it's 190. That's kinda wild that it's lived this long to tell the tale. Do I waste another Pokeball on it? Hmm. Let's. Dude, I'm committed now. This is the, the fallacy. Okay, good. Gambler's fallacy, dude. Okay. Pig monkey Pokemon. An agile Pokemon that lives in. No, I didn't read it. Easily, it will not have to say to attack anything. Do I want to give a nickname to him? No. Well, I just ran out of Pokeballs almost entirely. So let's go grab a couple more. Uh, we'll grab... We'll grab four more, because that'll probably happen to me again. Now, I still have four Pokemon to catch, so... Let's see if we can run into a Nidoran of some sort. There we go, Nidoran male. Good, good, good. That Nidoran male looks pretty good because it's nice and purple. It's a level 4, so we should be able to get Thunder Shock really good. Oh, yeah, more than good. You could live another one, right? Unless I crit. Okay, good, good, good. Take this Pokeball. Nice. Poison Pin Pokemon, its large ears are always kept upright. If it senses danger, it will attack with a poisonous sting. Nope. Not using a Nidoran with you. No, let's just keep going. Nidoran mail again. No thank you. Nidoran mail again? I really don't need another Nidoran mail. Oh, by the way, I looked into it, and my Pikachu's IVs are actually pretty terrible. It had a zero in defense, which is why it was so low. So this Pikachu is definitely not a good luck charm right now. Also, this thing's probably going to die with Undershock. Yeah, there's nothing that's going to a super effective attack with Stab. So I'm going to wait on catching the birds until probably a bit later. No, 
and don't need a minky, even though you ate through a lot of my Pokeballs. Another one? Dude, I just want the Nidoran female. That's all I want. Now the question is, how much do I keep of this do I keep? Oh, never mind. There's a Nidoran female. Oh, it's only level 2, though. No die? Good, good. I'm like, it's bulky enough to take a Thundershock, right? Good, good, good. Okay, so now we only have the two birds left. Another Poison Pin Pokemon. A mild-mannered Pokemon that does not like to fight. Beware its small horns to create venom. Fair enough. Not using that either. So. I'm gonna go heal. And I'm gonna do that grinding with Pikachu, like I said, to get Thunder Wave. Um, actually, we might not need to do the grinding. Actually, we definitely don't need to do the grinding. All we need to do... Jink. All we're going to need to do is use our Nidoran male that we just got. I'm assuming. It has a, it has a, a like, an attacking move, right? Yeah, okay, it has tackle, which is good enough for me. So with this Pokemon, we should be good. How many Pokeballs do I have? Two, three? Okay, that's more than enough. So let's catch the Pidgey down here, and then we can go about catch the Spearow up there. And we should be good to go, because that'll be all the Pokemon that we need. No, oh, how did I run to a Rattata? At least according to Bulbapedia, it's 70-30 in favor of a, a Pidgey. There we go. Level 3, good enough. Tackle it? Oh, that did like next to nothing. Interesting. Oh, we have speed tie. One more. Hopefully it doesn't crit me. Oh, it did crit me, but it didn't do as much as I thought it would. Uh, okay, good enough. Good, good, good. The tiny bird Pokemon, very docile. If attacked, it will often kick up sand to protect itself rather than fight back. Fair enough. Nope. And last but not least, we need that Spearow, so... I'm gonna actually just cut it until I find it, because it's only 10%, and I feel like it's probably gonna take a while, so we'll be back. Oh, here he is. The majestic beast himself, a level 4 Spearow. Not gonna waste time with leering. I also don't wanna raise my quote unquote raise my attack power. And we don't have poison points, so we have, there's no abilities in this game, so we don't have to worry about that either. Um Is that good enough? I can always switch out into like Which one of you has the lowest stats? Seven. Seven. I'm guessing you both have tackle, right? I didn't look at yours. Yeah. You can also just sack him off. Yeah, we're just gonna let... Oh, he growled for some reason. Good enough. Okay, let's do it. Tiny bird Pokemon, inept at flying high. However, it can fly around very fast to protect its territory. 
Nope, I'm not using that either. So, so, so. We just caught all the Pokemon that we needed from these first two routes here. And it didn't take that long at all. So what we're gonna do, and just to kind of like show it off, is we're gonna come over to this PC. Someone's PC. And... Oh yeah, that's, that's a fair point. We're gonna deposit, like, literally everything that we don't need, which is all these guys. Deposit the Rattata, deposit the Mankey. Deposit this Nidoran. Deposit the Pidgey. And if we go to Withdraw, you can see they're all chilling in the box now. You can print box if you have a Game Boy printer, which is really funny. I forgot about that. Anyway, so that's that. What I'm gonna end up doing is the way I always start Generation 1 and the remakes in Generation 3 is I take whatever my starter Pokemon is or whatever's on my team at this point in case I pick up like a, I don't know, a, a Spearow or a Nidoran or something. Uh, I'll take all those Pokemon that I have on my team right now and I trade them, train them up to level 13 before I fight the rival. Don't ask me why, it's pretty unnecessary because I think your rival's at level 9 tops, which means that you know, you're know you going to be over leveled, but that's just how I do things, so we're going to do it. And of course I'm going to cut out all the grinding, so I'll catch you guys, I'll catch you guys over at this route when I'm done. Oh, level 8, Pikachu learned Thunder Wave just like I thought he would. Just want to mention that real quick. It's level 11. Pikachu's trying to learn Quick Attack, and we are most certainly going to want to learn that. So we are going to have to delete a move. I think I want to get rid of... I think I'd rather get rid of Growl, if I'm being honest. So I'm going to do that. And we learn Quick Attack. Good, good, good. We're almost there, too, so... Alright, we are back with a level 13 Pikachu. His defense is looking god-awful. His speed is looking actually really good compared to everything else. And his attack is special, like, alright. Like I said, I looked at the IVs. Zero on defense. Um, I think his speed was like 15. It was definitely his highest one. Um, the other two were like in the middle somewhere, so... Yeah, we got we got a, a something on our hands, all right. But that being said, I think we're finally ready to do this rival fight. So you come up here, you come over here. Hey, Red, you're going to the Pokemon League? Forget it. You probably don't have any badges. The guard won't let you through it, or the guard won't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Blue wants to fight, so he's gonna have the Spearow, I guess. And Spearow's a better pick than Pidgey was back in uh, Red and Blue. I think he had a Pidgey in Red and Blue. He definitely had in the remakes. Too bad we have a Pikachu, so. An over leveled Pikachu at that. And then he still got his Eevee. Ooh, we critted it. It's gonna tail with us. You Razor already got god awful defense. Or lower our, our lower our already god awful defense. Speaking's hard. So that was easy enough. Oh, you just luck lucked out, yeah. Sure. I heard Pokemon League has many tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. Yeah, I probably should. Alright, so that was that. Um, the way that his EV works is it will have an evolution, and therefore I think the rest of his team changes based on uh, how well you do in these two fights. So if you 
one, the one in the lab, and you win this one, he'll have an, a Jolteon. And then if you win the one in the lab, or if you win, so if you win both of them, then you'll he'll have a Jolteon. If you win one of them, then he'll have a Flareon. If you lose both of them, he'll have a Vaporeon. And the way that like that's structured is like how good of a battler you are. If you're a terrible battler, he'll give you or he'll get the the evolution that uh, is weak to your Pikachu, right? Because Vaporeon's water type and is weak to Pikachu. And then obviously, if you do the best against him, then you'll have Jolteon to resist you as a as another electric type. And Flareon's neutral, of course. So. That's kind of like the logic behind it. And with that, we can actually head over into Route 2 slash Viridian Forest, which is kind of nice. Hope to see you again. Sure you do. So let's get going. There's nothing left in this town for us. And there certainly isn't any Pokemon left for us to catch. But guess what there is? There is Pokemon to catch on Route 2. Good old Route 2, huh? So, looking at the uh, the encounter table here, we got... We've actually got nothing here. That's kind of wild to me. Okay, let's just keep going then. Never mind. Not in yellow anyway, we don't have anything here. You have to roam far to get new kinds of Pokemon. Look for other types outside Viridian Forest. True. Are you going to Viridian Forest? Be careful, it's a natural maze. It's really not a maze. You guys are overselling it. Hmm, okay. Let's check Viridian Forest, see if it has anything worth looking for. Okay, so it's got a Caterpie and a Metapod, which are both new, but we only need to catch the Caterpie. And it's also got a Pidgeotto, which is kind of interesting. Um, if you want a Weedle, you have to trade it over from a different game. So we're going to go ahead and try our luck at catching a Caterpie, so I'll see you when I find one. Actually, before before we do that, I was gonna. Oh no! Oh, it's level five. Run from it! I was gonna say before we do that. If we go up here, dude, these caterpies—they're like, I know you want to catch me. If, oh my god! Please send help. Dude, this time it's a Metapod. Dude, the Caterpie family is actually haunting me. So right here, there's a Pokeball, which is going to be nice when we're trying to catch this Caterpie. <sighs> so this time I'll see you when I find one. Oh, here he is. Always oh, a little six. Um, so here's the thing. I'm going to Thunder Wave it. And its catch rate is so high that we should have no problem just, like, catching it. Right? 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 Eh? Eh? That was a no. That's what that was. It was like, haha, you would have thought. Okay, let's quick attack it. Probably gonna kill, but we might as well try. Oh wow, we didn't kill. It's beef, or either our attack is lower than I think it is, or his defense is higher than I think it is. All right, last Pokeball. Now I'm going to buy more. Good, good. Okay, so call it Caterpie. If you touch the feeler on top of its head, it will release a horrible stink to protect itself. That sounds not fun. We're not giving a nickname to this Caterpie. Okay, so... 
We're good on uh, Pokemon in the Viridian Forest now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the antidote that I know is right here. And I'm gonna go back and heal. And what we're gonna what we're gonna do is uh, we're actually gonna end the episode here because come up on 30 minutes. I want to try to keep these around 30 minutes, give or take. And actually going through Verding Forest can be saved for next episode. So if you like the video, please hit like. If you really like the video, consider subscribing. And if you dislike the video, you can of course dislike it. And otherwise, I'll see you all next time.